Let me tell you something, my brother. Oh, go ahead. Joe, go on the uh, June, uh, June 16 verse 30. June 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, me and who did he come for? Who, no, no, no. Come on. It's not just me and you. Because there's more than just That's me and you on the earth. God for who? For who? For, for, for us. Who's us? As a human, we are. So all, all human, all are, nations. All nations. Huh? All nations. That's not true. That, okay, I, can tell, I can tell you. Let me read your Bible. Watch this. Let's get it for him. Let's get it for him. Let's get it for him. We're going to get it for you, and then we're going to show you um, who he came for. God. After you get that, get Matthew 1, 2, and we're going to start yeah. there. We're going to show you. Yeah, he's going to say. Because, gonna say. you know what? Right. Judge Smith cannot teach you the Bible. That's right. The, these religions, they false religion. You're right. not going to see any one of them I, in the Bible. I don't give a damn about that. Yes, you do. I if you're don't. Baptist, you do. Right. Give a damn about Yes, you do, my brother. Watch this. Okay, you know, go on. Now we go back. Chapter 15, verse 24. You know, he, he has no, a, I've got it from June 16, verse 2. John 16 and 2. And, and 2. Verse 2. Just 3? Verse 3, yeah. John 16 and 2. Yeah. Let's get that for you. Go ahead, that for you. Because I'm gonna show you what you think you know, you don't know it. Because you walked up here, you put in a white image because he has the uh, 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 the, the, the throne crown. You say that's for what he did for me, that's my guy. But we just read the Bible, he has black skin and woolly hair. Right, right. You didn't even know what he looked like. Wait a minute. So, what you think right, you know, go ahead. you don't know. Right, Watch this. That, that. See, this is what, see, that's the thing. When, when you read the Bible, that's what he looked like. You didn't even know that. Right. That means you fell for the trap That's already. Right. You headlong in it. Okay. Watch this. John chapter 16 of verse 3. And these things will they do unto you because they have not known the Father mm -hmm. nor me. But these things I ha have I told you that when the time shall come you may remember that I told you of them. And, the, and these things I said not unto you at the beginning because I was with you. Say what? You you made me get this to say what? I mean, I'm not sure that because he went away on what's going to happen. But that's happening to him for who? You still didn't answer the question. For who? Who did Christ for, came for? for who was he sent for? For you and I. For you and for, for, for the elders. What, what about for the white man? For the Chinese man. For everybody. For, that's all it's for the world. Is, is Christ a liar? Let's see. Out of Christ's mouth, no. we don't find out. Is Christ a liar? No. Give me a. I, have, I was now sent to the Lordship ship house of Israel. Let's get that. 1524. Let's get that. Because you, you say Christ I, is not I, a liar. I, right? No. Christ is not a liar, right? Christ is sent Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Come on. The book of Matthew, chapter 15, and verse 24. You know? But he answered it. It says. Hey sis, how you doing, my how you doing, my sister? You just came from church? I got a question for you. Same question I have for him, sis. I got a question for you. Did Christ, when Christ comes back to save us, right? Is he, I know he will. Absolutely. I agree. We all here. We he's agree. Always here. He's coming back. He's always but now here's the question he's though. But he's the question. Hey sis, I'm gonna ask you first. He says, I already ask him. When Christ comes back, sis, is he yeah. coming back to save all nations? He's always here. Right, let the sister speak. Have a little respect. Have a little respect. Oh uh, yeah. Sis, is the is Christ coming back to save all people on the face of the earth? I feel like he's coming back for the one that's serving him. Okay, for the one that's serving him, that's vague. Who can serve him? Who are his servants? Everybody can serve him. You sure about that, sis? Everybody can serve right, him. Let's find out. You, have, you believe in the Bible, right? Yeah. So that's the difference. The thing is, like, we go to church, we just hear things. And then the things that we hear, we repeat them, right? But we never go into the Bible to confirm the things that are written in the right. scriptures. Bring it up. That's the difference. You're not wrong. Give or take, you're not wrong. That's why, like, those who follow him and serve him, yes. But the thing is, only a certain group of people have given the privilege to follow Christ. Not everybody on the earth. That's when we follow the horse. Watch this. The book of Matthew, 
Chapter 15 and verse 24. Is Christ a liar, sis? Does Christ lie? No. No, right? Christ never. is not never. never. Why is it out of his own mouth? Never, never. But he answered and said, I am not sent. This is Christ speaking. He answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. I come here to say everybody. Bring it out. Read it again. Get it for her. Matthew chapter 15. Relax, brother. Relax. Calm down. Calm down. Matthew chapter 15. T and verse 24. Uh -huh. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's specific. Give me the kingdom. Give me the kingdom now. Give me a revelation. Give me the kingdom. Because we're going to show you. Because we're all waiting to go to the kingdom, right? Because he just said, the house of Israel. So the question is, I can tell you guys don't know. Go ahead, show it to him real quick. Show, show it to him real quick. Show, let's, read, let's read it while she got it. Let's, let's read it again while she has it. While she looking. Yeah, you good, you good. Don't worry, don't worry. Take your time, man. We got it. We're here, we're here. No, we're here. We're good. 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 We, we, we got the knowledge of how to start the thing. All right. Let's read it again. Let's read it again for her. Matthew chapter 15 and verse 24. Uh -huh. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So everything we've learned in church, says, right, what you just said, for everybody, right? I know what first I'm quoting is that for God so love the world. <laughs> and it says soft just like that too. <laughs> then the worst part of the mic. For God so love the world, he sent his only begotten son. But I, but all they gotta do is read up. Right. Read the verse above. Yeah. Start at verse one. But do you feel like? Uh, it's not about feeling. I'm not what feeling. I'm about what's here. What, what I'm right. talking about. Wait, listen to uh -huh. what I'm saying. I got you. Sis. I may not be saying the way you like me to say it. No, that's not good. It's not like to you. God, you have a choice to serve God and to live right. If you don't live right, ain't no way you gonna leave here and go where God is at. No, we're not. You gotta, you gotta live right. You gotta have the Holy Spirit within you. Sis. We're the church. Sis. We're just going to build. Sis, we, here's the difference. Here's the difference of what you've learned okay. and what we're teaching you today. Okay. Here's the thing. Give me a favor real quick, bro. You see this right here? Uh -huh. See these people here? Uh -huh. These are the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. So when Christ said out of his own mouth, I was not sent, but unto the lost sheep. Who's lost today? We are. Because here's the thing. We don't know our identity, right. our history past 1619. Bring it out. Bring it out. That's why we lost. We don't know. We can't. We descended from the greater, the same people that that God sent Moses to save from the Egyptians. We are their descendants today, right. and we've lost that. So when Christ said, when Christ said He was not sent, but to the lost sheep, we are that lost sheep. That's right. So the other people, the other nations, they got their blessings. Right. We're still waiting for hours. Who needs to be saved today? Bring it up. We do. Right. We're still under the thumb of the people that did this to us. We do. Right. The white man needs saving from who? From what? From All the money he from got? No. We save it from the high rise buildings? Our, our mind, the, go the, the golf course? Hmm. Bring it, we bring it need out. saving. <laughs> right. We are we are under the oppression. So that's why we that's why when Christ spoke, that's why he was going into sis. Right. Watch this. Right. Let's get it. You're right. You're right. You're right. Uh, right. I no, I, I did. I you, Perfect. Appreciate you, officer. The book of Luke, chapter 13, and verse 3. Let's go. I tell you, nay, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. You see that? We got no choice but to repent. Because the other choice is death. None of us want to die, right? But here's the beautiful thing is, here's the beautiful thing. Out of all the nations on the earth, these people here, are the only ones who can repent. That's right. We're the That's only right. one who has a chance at eternal life. Why right. well, just get revelation? We're going to show you that. Because the thing is, we thank God is for everybody. Right. He's not. Yes, it is. No, he's not. Oh, well. We're going to show you. Okay. That's the thing. You've never read the Bible. And this is no disrespect. <laughs> it's no disrespect. Because once upon a time, I didn't. The things I know today, I didn't know. Bring it out, huh?
the book of Revelation, chapter 21 and verse 12. Let's get it. And had a wall, great and hard. Right now, he's describing the kingdom, right? The, the, what, what, what the priest just call heaven, right? But he's describing what after Christ return, what it's going to look like. Watch this. And had 12 gates. So he said, I had a wall, great and high. Bring it out. A major castle. Right. Did anybody go up into a castle? Yeah. Today. Not today. Can you, can you just walk up willy nilly and go to a castle? Not today. No. No, no listen to this again. Read it from the top. And had a wall, great and high. That's for security. Mm -hmm. It had a wall, great, great and high. high. Meaning that what? We're trying to keep the undesirables out. Right. What is this? And had 12 yeah. gates. Had what? And had 12 gates. Had what? And had 12 gates. If God is for everybody, why have 12 gates? Mm -hmm. Why not have one? Everybody's welcome. My brother, bring it out. My brother, you know if what? If you're not going to answer the question, bro, I don't even want to hear no longer. Let me answer. If you're not going to answer the question, bro, I don't even want to hear it. Okay. I might, I might, I might, get, I might get out of here. And at the gates, 12 angels. At the gates, 12. I'm going to let you talk, though. At the gates, 12 angels. Watch this. And names written thereon. And they had names. Hmm. Every one of the gate uh, had a name. Right. Bring it out, officer. What, what is this? What the hell's name? Which are the We're gonna show you. Okay, tell I, me. That's a good question. question. That's the best question you asked all day. Watch. Which are the names of the twelve tribes of, in, of the children of Israel? Hold up, hold up. Catch your breath. I want you to hear that. To read that strong and right. Oh. What was the names on the gate? Which are the names? Of yeah. The twelve tribes of the children of Israel. The children of Israel. Let's uh -oh. look. Let's look. Uh -oh. Let's look. Let's look. Let's uh -oh. look. The names in the gate. We're gonna read it too. Uh -oh. The names in the gate says it said Judah. Judah. Why did they say the whole ben world? Right. They say Benjamin. Benjamin. Right. Levi. Right. Meaning, right. as an American black, right. Right. you can't go. Right. So you have to repent and know that you're from the nation of Israel. Right. Right. You have to repent and know I'm the I descended from the tribe of Judah. Right. Right. Levi, Benjamin, right. Right. From the valley, it's right, right. God, right. Simeon, Reuben. Right. That's God, our God, righteous God, identity. God, That's right. right. Guess what? As an American, a black American, African American, we get no respect. No, right. Get As a Mexican, we get no respect. Right. As a Haitian, uh -huh. we get no respect. Bring it out. Guess what? Not too long ago, what did Trump call Haiti? Bring it out. Excuse my language, a shithole country. Whole what respect is that, brother? Yeah, Watch this. Read. He don't respect that, bro. On the east, three gates. I know. Huh? On the north, three gates. Let's get it. On the south, three gates. Let's get it. And on the west, three gates. Read. And the wall of the sea. City had 12 foundations, uh -huh. and in them, the name of the 12 apostles of the Lamb. See that? We had, it was, it was secure. It's not for everybody. Before you go, see, I see the little shuffle, the yeah. side shuffle. Before you go, Joel 2.27, mm -hmm. to seal it in your head, because right. what they did to, I'm going to tell what they did. Go. The white man pulled the greatest mic trick. Yep. Bring it out. I'm going to tell what they did, how they did that. Because during slavery, we work from sundown to sundown, right? And then they give us Sunday to go to church. But because they know the atrocity they committed, what's the best way to keep you docile Bring it so you don't see them as the enemy? They say what? Religion. The Christ is white. So if you want to go to where I'm going, you got to follow my Christ. That's how they gave us the wrong understanding. Hey, what they had to say, they had to say what? They had to say, uh, God is for everybody. Anybody who believes. Why? Because now, because what you're going to do is because you want to go to heaven, what you're going to do? You know what? I got to forgive them. That's what they tell you. Turn the other cheek. Bring it out. But they never actually go to the scripture to give you the right understanding right, right. of these things. That's what you're getting today. We're not against our people. We want our people to repent. Right. We want our people to know we are greater than they've told us. The Watch this. Joel, chapter 2 and verse 27. Mm -hmm. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel uh -huh. and that I am the Lord your God. Read it again. Read it again. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, uh -huh. and I am the I am the Lord your God, uh -huh. and none else. And what? And none else. And what? And none else. See that God say He is with Israel and nobody else. That's right. So all these religions, uh, that's on this side, they're false religions. Right. You're not gonna find them in the Bible. God said He gave laws, statutes, and commandments: how to live, what to eat, what to how to dress. I'm gonna ask you a question, sis. In the in the Christian church. 
Do they teach against not eating pork? No. Did you know that was a law from God? I know we're not supposed to eat pork. But why do we do it? Check it out. That's what we're that way. Right? But Before you get that, give me Leviticus 25, 55. Show you who can be a servant. What God, what, like, for us, these people right here, that's who God's dealing with. Not the other nations. But what they did was, because we got conquered. What happened when a group of people get conquered? All your records, everything got taken. So now they have access, for example. In today's time, you will call it identity theft. Somebody break into your house and take all your personal information and belongings. They can pretend to be you, can they not? Yes. So these people, these white folks, what they did? They took our documents. Right. So now they're in Israel pretending to be the Jews. But yeah. guess what? They call themselves Jewish. They're putting it on faces. Jewish. Right. Meaning that yeah, we like the Jews. Like we like the Jews, but we like them. I got you. You see what? Got they got us in a lie. What is it? 25, 25. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the Leviticus, chapter yeah, 25, yeah. verse 25. Uh -huh. For unto me, the children of Israel. This is God speaking. God said to himself. For unto me, the children of Israel uh -huh. are servants. They are my servants. You see that? It's not everybody. God said to me, the children of Israel are servants. My servants. Read up. Who I brought forth out of the land of Egypt. So now you got to ask yourself. The Bible repeats itself. So now, I know we've been to the churches, the Sunday schools. Who did God send Moses to save under the Egyptians? Was it everybody? No. It was not everybody. Who did he save, sis? The children of Israel. It was us. The line that you know what they did to us? We just didn't know that it was us. Right. That's why when they say that, oh, you know, the Gentiles can be saved, we believe because we believe we are the Gentiles. Right. But really, the heathens are the Gentiles. But the thing is, Israel was following Gentile custom. Right. For example, you can, you're not supposed to eat pork. When you do eat pork, you are behaving or living like the Gentiles. Right. Because they don't got the laws of God. You see what I mean? They tricked us and we fell for it. Okay. Read that again. For unto me, the church of Israel are servants. They are my servants, uh -huh. who I brought forth out of the land of Egypt. Read. I am the Lord your God. See that? Possessive again. Right. He's always going to repeat it. I am the Lord your God. Right. Because if it was for everybody, why would he have to say it like that? Right. Bring it out. Because that was more than just the children of Israel that was slave in Egypt. Some of them left with us, but originally I was at the mission. For example, if there, if this if this uh, struggle came right here was a prison, right? You had some of your family members, your son, your daughter, cousin, you know what I'm saying? But there's other people as well in there. And you opened the door for everybody to escape. They, just because everybody who's in there escaped, they, does that mean you went to free everybody? No. Same thing here with the scriptures. Let's finish that and get back to get Matthew 1. Okay, I'm going to finish with this. Get Matthew 1. Because, same thing again, because what they're saying is, in the New Testament, they change. We're going to find out if that's the case. Because we already read in Revelation, in the kingdom to come, who's allowed to enter? Right. You see that? We see who's allowed to enter. Not all nations. So that gets to show us, John 3, 16 does not mean what they have told us. Right now. Bring it they out. They lied to us. Read that. The book of Matthew, chapter 1, and verse 21. Uh -huh. And she shall bring forth a son. So this is a prophecy of Christ. This is Mary letting her know that she's going to bring forth a son. Christ to be born. And thou shalt call his name Jesus. Okay. For he shall save his people. What was Christ's mission before he was born? For he shall save his people. If your son says, or any of your children say, I'm buying this car for my mother. Is he buying that car for all mothers? No. You're going to feel some type of way. Hold on. Hey, hey, get your son to get you something. My son got, I know how mothers get. You guys get very happy and proud. Look what my son is doing. Right? But God has a group of people that is his. That's right. Right? And that's the children of Israel. Right. From Judah down to Naphtali. And the thing is, as a people, we don't know that. That's what we're coming back Bring to. It out. Learning who we are. Right. Knowing who we are. My question is. Yes, sir. My question is. Hold that. From Judah to Naphtali, that's his other people who belong to Jesus? 
from, from, from Judah all the way down to Africa. Okay, these names are the name that God gave us. Right. These names on this side, that's who, that's the name that we go by today. For example, so-called uh, African American, or American blacks, or those who are born here, or their fathers were brought here uh, to serve um, in slavery. The so-called Haitians were brought to the island of Hispaniola, Hispaniola. right next to uh, uh, the, Dominican, the, uh, the, uh, the Dominicans. But they call, the Bible calls them Simeon, right. while the Bible calls us Levi. So the, all these people are one nation. Right. It's just they divide. You ever hear divide and conquer? Uh -huh. yeah. They divided us. Probably. That's why, till this day, for example, the African Americans are known as what? A minority. So are any of these, these other groups. The Haitian comes here, even though we, we black just like you, just like... But it's like, oh, no, no, that's Haitian minority, that's African-American minority, right? But if we came together, we outnumber them, right. even right. if they included their cohorts in, over in Europe. Center yeah. of the sea. Watch this. Yep. Start, no, start up. Start up with the woman. Okay. Because this is this is how God feels, or Jesus, I should say, feels about the other nations. Here's a quick example. The book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 21. Then Jesus went thence and departed into the coast of Tyre and Zidane. Mm -hmm. And behold, a woman of Canaan. So this is a woman who was not part of the nation of Israel. She was from another nation, a woman of Canaan. She lived in Canaan. Go. Came out of the same coast mm -hmm. and cried unto him, saying, have mercy on me. So God, Christ, help me, help me. He's, she's asking for help. Watch this. Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. Mm -hmm. So she, she, paid, she paid respect off rip. I know you came from the lineage of David. Right. I know you were king. Christ, Christ, help me. Right? What? My daughter is grievously... Her, her daughter was sick. Right? She said, help me, help me. My daughter is sick. What? what? My daughter is grievously, grievously vexed with a devil. Uh-huh. But he answered her not a word. Wait a minute, read that again. But he answered her not a word. Have they ever read that scripture in the church? Christ did not answer them. They made you believe Christ was like a superhero walking around healing everybody. But this woman coming to him crying, begging, pleading. He did not answer her. Meaning that he was focused on his mission. Right. Read on. And his disciples came and besought him. Because we know he was with the disciples, right? So the disciples are around him. Let's see what the disciples, let's see if, if they're going to come and correct Christ and say, yo, did you hear her? She's asking for help. Let's see what the disciples say. Say, send her away. What they say? Send her away. So Christ and the disciples are, in, are they on one page. They know what the play is. Like, Lord, she's crying after us. Send her away. Well, let's see why. For she cried after us. Uh -huh. But he answered her, he, but he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So now this, Christ is talking, this woman now who's asking for help, her daughter is sick. Now Christ is letting her know, look, what you asking for, it's not for you. Right. It's for the house of Israel. Let's see how the rest of that interaction continue. Then came she and worshiped him, mm -hmm. saying, Lord, help me. See that? Now she's humbling herself. She said, Lord, help me. Read. But he answered, but he answered and said, it is not me to take the children's bread. So who's the children? The children of Israel. That's we just right. read. That's, right? That's, the, the, for the children of Israel are servants. Right. So it is not me. It's not good to do what? To take the children's bread. Uh-huh. And to and to cast it to dogs. To what? And to cast it to dogs. What did Christ call them? And to cast it to dogs. Christ said, hey, hey, hey. You not a part of these people. Right. It's not good that the things that I have, the miracles that I'm doing, it's not for you. It's not good that I do it to you because you are a dog. Right. right. Outside of this nation, you are nothing. Right. Watch this. And she said, truth, Lord. Listen to what she's saying now. Because she knew her place. 
She knew her place. That's what she said. She was Lord. Meaning what? I am a dog. I don't recognize that. I know I'm not part of the children. What is this? Yet the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from their master's table. So you know what the biggest thing about that is? We are supposed to be the masters. Right. Right. You see how today in, 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 uh, in politics, they make all the decisions. Right. We got no choice but to follow. That's our position. That's right. We're supposed to be ruling. That's and right. they follow. Right. You see that? Yes, Lord. Read it again. And she said, truth, Lord. Yet the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from the master's table. You see how they reverse the roles? Because America is considered what? A great country, yes. right? And guess what? We eat of their crumbs. That's right. right. When well, we're supposed to be the one ruling, Bring leading. The, not just America, the world. That's right. The world, brother and sister. What is this? Then Jesus answered and said unto her, O woman, great is thy faith. And Christianity take this part and say, look, because a child got healed, it's okay. He's for everybody. But before, let's keep the whole conversation. Right, right. Let's keep the whole interaction where he called her a dog. Her daughter being healed, does that mean she get the kingdom? Right. That's right. It's right. just a crumb. Bring it out. Freedom. Then Jesus answered and said unto her, O woman, great is thy faith, uh -huh. be it unto thee, even as thou wilt. And her daughter was made whole from that very hour. Only because what she said, she believed it. Right. I'll be right back. I thought she said what I was doing. Gotcha. Only because she believed what she said. She means she acknowledged she's a dog. She's acknowledged that she is less than. And, and Christ said, look, whatever you want, that's a crumb. It's going to happen for you. Send her away. Right. She got the crumb that she came for. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you.